Hey guys, welcome back to Cichlid Nation. Uh, I want to make a quick video today about a do-it-yourself uh, cichlid sump system for multiple cichlid tanks, okay? Uh, we're going to go over the whole thing here. If you're new here, uh, do me a favor and like the video. We upload all different types of do-it-yourself systems for, uh, for cichlids and other fish. So like the video and subscribe to the channel. We try to upload upload about two or three videos per week, um, and let's just uh, let's just jump right into it here. This is a 150 gallon cichlid tank. If you check the other videos on the uh, channel here, you can see some other videos with these guys. I do an underwater dive with them. Um, but really, what this video is all about today is um, this sump system here. Okay. So this sump system, and I'm gonna to try to walk you around and show you what you have here. But this sump system goes all the way around the entire basement. You can see this is a this is a feed down into the sump system here for the 150 gallon. Okay. And then we're gonna come around. You can see this is the um, this is the overflow for the sump system. Coming around here, this is a cichlid tank here. These are, um, well, they used to be fry. I don't think you can call them fry anymore. They're pretty big. These are mabunas, and this is the feed into it here. All right, the feed down as well. Here's the overflow down into that system there. And it comes all the way across. Here's the final cichlid tank here and these are uh, these are dragon blood these are dragon blood cichlids here and this is the feed down into them okay the overflow here and here's a side view this is probably the, one of the better views I can get of the sump system so the sump system comes all the way down big cichlid action here Oh, another cichlid here. She's also attached to it, right? Yeah, she's on the system here. Okay. Now all this comes down into this sump here. Okay. And uh, what's this? What's this mechanism here? What's this do? Okay. And it's at 120. What does that mean? Full blast. Okay, so how many gallons per hour is this pump here? Uh, 2,100 20, gallons per hour. Okay, and uh, what do we have here? We have a, um, a 30 gallon plus 150. That's 180. So that's 72. So that's 152. Yeah, I like it. It's around 250 gallons in total, I think. This is about, we'll say 400, right? We'll say 400 gallons? No, it's a high 250. Mm -hmm. You don't fall the hair enough. 150, 180, 2, yeah, you're right. But what about the sump? 300? No, it's like 250. 250. <laughs> 250 gallons on the sump system. Yeah. And he has a pump that does, look how clear the tank is. It looks amazing. These fish look fake. Incredible. These fish look fake. Okay. So this whole sump system uh, is all feeding off of one sump here. Now, let's try to build a price of what this whole thing costs. How much was the sump? How much was the pump, I mean? Uh, that was the most expensive part, it was like 90 bucks. 90, okay. And then all your piping was what, $50? No, because you got the fucking... About, probably around 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Would you say that these are the most expensive part, these valves? All right, and in the $100, are you also including the overflows? 
and the hooks. So 175 for the piping and 90 for the pump. So 265 for the sump system here. Okay, so uh, 280. 280 for this sump system. What about this little temperature gauge here? Is that just built into the pump? This, this little gauge right here, this little, that's built into the pump for 90 bucks? $280 for the whole sump system. So that's pretty amazing, guys. Um, I wanted to show you that. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. It's a custom build. Um, we could definitely get you some information on that. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.